According to International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, 87% of Ugandans predominantly live in rural areas. This is in a developing country where land is a most valuable factor for production in agriculture, which is the mainstay of the economy, providing a source of income, food, employment and production. The project uh, is implemented by the government of Uganda to improve domestic production of vegetable oils in the country. The project has been implemented since 1998, where the phase one focused on 23 districts doing oil seeds and Kalangala district doing oil palm. The first phase of the project ended 2010. In 2010, the second phase started and the districts implementing oil seeds expanded from 23 to 51, but then Kalangala remained as the major oil palm producing district. But the project is also uh, especially looking at improving um, rural farmers' incomes because we still struggle with the issues of poverty, especially in the rural areas. So basically the emphasis is working with smallholder farmers so that they grow these crops and market them so that they can have an income. The <laughs> The Twali Kuchiro Luka Gamu Omez in a quarter of Kadebusatu, Mammy Twalung Kag, Novo Guam Kakati Musizo Nia Nunga Mumusana, but then Quato Bubidi Kamuch Tundu Kamuchinana. The Kalangala Oil Palm Growers Trust was established under the Vegetable Oil Development Project, VODP, to support the small holder oil palm farmers to increase their production of crushing material, both oil palm and oil seeds, and establish commercial relations to link them directly to processors. KOPGT supports the farmers to grow the uh, oil palms, harvest the fruits, and sell these fruits to a private company, which is also part of the partnership. The private company is called Oil Palm Uganda Limited. However, most of the smallholder oil palm farmers engaged in the production were essentially migrant charcoal producers and small-scale fishermen. They did not own the piece of land where they were farming, thereby presenting a huge challenge being that oil palm is a perennial, long-term crop that requires heavy investment at the beginning and it takes up to 25 years to get to commercial production. The value of land has tremendously increased in Kalangala district due to the coming of the oil palm development project and therefore uh, the owners of land and the users of land have challenges between themselves many of the owners of land are absentee landlords because many years ago uh, in this place there was sleeping sickness and the owners of land migrated to the mainland and other districts but when this project came and the uh, the Kibanja holders, we call them Kibanja holders because they are not the owners, they are the tenants or the users of the land. So they are earning income from oil palm and now the two landowners have sniffed that this is happening. The tenants are earning a lot of money every month. So they would also love to have a share in that money and that's where the bit of conflict I'm talking about comes in. <laughs> Ajakuda, na ye bimbi bambi na afwa. Bwe ya afwa bataba nibe neba jawa nunobu su nguo bujiti li vue taka tulima ze taka lieri ona basanze wana wasinze wawede wasigadeyo watononyo. Tuba senda nekala kitabi chibi chi. So the project has partnered with the Tenure Security Learning Initiative of the Global Land Tool Network under UN Habitat to capture information on the smallholder farmers. The purpose 
of that is to assess their tenure security, but also linking tenure security to the area on which they have planted, the size on which they have planted the palms, the year in which they planted, and uh, the productivity of the, of the farmers' oil palm investments. The idea is to improve on the monitoring and evaluation, but also be able to have a regular assessment of the tenure security situation faced by the farmers in Kalangala. The Vegetable Oil Development Program, uh, VODP, is one of the programs that we are supporting and we are here at the Kalangala Oil Palm Growers Trust to support them develop the land information management system. We have been cooperating with the VODP and KLPGT since 2014 and uh, this year we are uh, continuing the work where specifically we want to uh, finalize the land database and um, make it functional and operational. Presently, we have uh, a team on the island uh, that is trying to validate all the information that has been collected in the past. And uh, that team is uh, largely people who have been trained both by uh, Vegetable Oil Development Project and the uh, GLTN UN Habitat. The exercise is a participatory exercise. The win in this exercise is that it is farmer driven. We have the farmers trained on the use of these affordable geospatial technologies. We largely use a paper questionnaire and a GPS machine. The paper questionnaire helps us to collect the information on the farmer, the characteristics of the farmer and the garden information. While the GPS machine helps us to get the location but also the polygon that is covered by the farmer's garden. Bodina. <laughs> The participatory nature of the implementation of the social tenure domain model in vegetable development project has also enabled us engage the women. We have uh, in total 1,810 registered smallholder farmers in Kalangala on the 4,424 hectares. Of those, 37% are women. This exercise has also enabled the women to have an opportunity to get us much more of the information about them. We get their socioeconomic characteristics, but also the relation they have on the, on, on the land, the tenure information. Biri, na biri mamu fezes biri, ni ni ma biri kumi, watani kama mwezgua kubiri, mwaka biri kumi, kaka ti biri kumi, tu kungu kungu lia dali yangu tenu nje ne ne, hela juzi na pima mwenye kote mungeli mochira ana, kaka ti ni mire no, ni na abana abana. We we also have farmers now able to have their information put together in the STDM and produced on simple garden certificates. The garden certificates are not a legal document, but it's just a document that helps the farmer to show what he has, how much he has planted, and the polygon in which he is. 
the project has also enabled us to acquire satellite images, which are now building on to the way we can present the information on the project. There's a very critical environmental benefit of the STDM implementation on the project. We're able to estimate the area of the buffer zone. We're able to see who is encroaching on the buffer zone. And we're able to implement um, measures to rebuild or reconstruct the buffer zones. We're able to present the forest reserves. We're able to carry out other land use analysis, which we all would never have been interested as an agriculture development project. So the implementation of the TSLI-supported STDM has made work easy, both for the project, for the Kalangala Oil Palm Growers Trust, but most importantly, for the farmers who now better have an appreciation of their investment. And uh, this is definitely quite important for us. Uh, the job you're doing uh, in partnership with GLTN is, uh, is extremely important. We're so happy with the first results we got. And I understand you're now sort of fine tuning it to get to get a bit uh, get a bit more. And this is something we want to use also for the new areas where we use where we're going. We appreciate this partnership with GLTN because it's really helping us uh, in terms of tenure security, slowly giving people some confidence. We also thank IFAD, IFAD being part of this initiative. They have helped us. We are now able to set the conflicting parties to a, a round table and they negotiate.